All right, final update of the weekend. Um, I've been working on uh, Soccer Time, which is on the uh, drive now, and I uh, was able to complete uh, tonight uh, Big Country Football 2024 NFL projection season. So for those who are being, playing Big Country Football, that is done. Let's find it here. i got to clean this up. This is a... Uh, it's becoming full of stuff I need to organize. Uh, Big Country Football... Where is it? There it is. So BCF 2024 NFL projection season. Uh, so now I have a projection season for football time and a projection season for uh, Big Country Football. So for those who want more seasons... Or if you want to play this year's teams based on my predictions, my um, ratings, again, um, these are based on past performance, but also based on what I suspect uh, these players and teams will do. So, um, take it or leave it. It's uh, it's a projection list. Uh, anyway, they're going to be, you're going to see the teams are kind of cattywampus. They're in no particular order. I had to... Uh, uh, expand this from the NFL 1985, so I just uh, uh, added the the four teams that I needed to add in and jotted them down. So you're going to find they're kind of in a weird order. So um, uh, I wasn't going to rewrite every team, and then I deleted all of the data and got the data done today. Um, so I'm not going to go through every team, but uh, there's some key notes. I've got Dallas with a solid uh, quarterback, solid receivers, of course. Uh, defense is okay. Uh, well, it's not oh, okay. It's good, but the backfield um, suspect. Uh, New York kind of struggle on offense. Uh, I actually have their defense rated fairly well. Um, we'll see. Uh, Washington uh, rookie quarterback. I'm not going to give them the benefit of the doubt right now. Um, and their defense, I've got a little less than average. Philadelphia um, uh, hurts. Uh, um, I'm not sold, so again, I've talked about this before, Hurts. Zero is not bad. It just means he won't gain any benefits on the charts, but it's he's, that's not bad. Remember, zero is not bad. Uh, and plus is not necessarily uh, going to hurt you on D. And, and, uh, well, they can, but not a lot. Um, what you don't want to see is negatives, and, um, and on, you don't want to see big pluses on defense. So i got Philly right now. They've There's just so much for me that I have to see, especially with Sirianni kind of on the hot seat, right? Um, Arizona, um, solid quarterback. Uh, as I've I said before, athletic, exciting, but um, when the chips are down, I don't know what he can do. Backs, uh, they've got a solid back, but that's but um, I'm not going to see him as a breakaway threat, so he's a zero. Uh, better receivers to support this quarterback. Uh, so the defense is going to probably hold him back a little bit. Chicago, I went ahead and gave the Chicago quarterback a plus one um, really given uh, normally with rookies I wouldn't do this but uh, I like that I like the odds that he's going to have uh, a pretty good season and supported well by that receiving core um, backs are going to be again not in any particular threat either way I've got the defense across the boards is solid and uh, so Chicago should be alright Green Bay good quarterback good running backs receiving core again kind of unknowns and the defense is solid across the board, so we're looking good. Minnesota, I don't have any faith in Darnold. Um, uh, receiving core is fantastic. Um, no plus threes here despite John Jefferson, but it is what it is. And again, a solid uh, average to good defense. Detroit, uh, Goff and company, and solid, solid receivers. The running backs, though... I don't think we're going to get enough carries to really be a threat, but we'll see. And their defense, solid, uh, but no, not dominant. Uh, Tampa Bay, I've got Baker Mayfield, um, who's going to need help from his receiving core. That's why they're a plus two. Uh, running back situation, again, not. Uh, this is a team that probably won't run the ball. They probably will run the ball the least amount of anybody in the league, if I, if I had to guess. Uh, they are not going to run the ball. Um, anyway, their defense is getting old, and um, we'll see how that fares. Um, Los Angeles Rams, a very good uh, quarterback, uh, running back situation. We're going to see, again, I've said before, they're sneaky, good, but I'm not seeing a big breakaway threat there. And their receiving core, in my opinion, is the best in football, especially when uh, coached so well by McVay. Uh, D-line without... D-line without the man is not going to be good, and there's zeros everywhere else. So the Rams are going to have to do it with offense. 
San Francisco, uh, quarterback situation, I think Purdy's overrated, but he's not bad, so plus one. Uh, best back in football, but maybe not the best backfield. And then the RCs are solid, um, uh, but aging. Uh, again, minus three, minus one, minus three linebackers and zero. So again, this is a good football team. New Orleans struggling at quarterback. Uh, Camaro's aging, and their receiving cores, a couple of young guys. But uh, I don't see the Saints being very explosive on offense. However, solid defense across the board. Good special teams. Uh, Atlanta, a solid quarterback situation. Uh, they've got a great back, but they failed to use him last year. I'm, I'm not certain what they're going to do with him this year. I'm hoping with Art, Art, Art Smith at OC. I mean, excuse me, Art Smith's in Pittsburgh. Uh, with uh, uh, Where is Pittsburgh? They better be in here. Okay. Uh, Atlanta with, uh, oh, I can't remember his name now, the new OC. I'm not certain he's going to use the backs. Uh, solid receiving core and tight end. And again, defensive line much improved. Defensive backfields fantastic. Linebackers might be a bit of uh, average, right? Miami, uh, one of the best, most reliable, uh, statistically um, accurate quarterbacks. Plus three with plus two receivers. They're going to get a plus five with incompletions and with uh, and plus three to uh, interceptions. So uh, when this team, when uh, Tua is within the system. He is going to be uh, dominant and one of the fastest backfields in football, plus one. Uh, defense, though, on the other hand, um, yeah, problematic. New York Jets, uh, Rodgers gets this solely because he's a future Hall of Famer, but I have very little faith he's going to do much. Um, their running back situation, good back, but again, uh, they don't. I'm not convinced they'll use them enough to, to, to make big gains. And again, receiving core, uh, okay. So there's still a plus two to completions um, when you need them. Uh, their defense is fantastic here. Um, and they've lost a pass rusher, so uh, that's down a bit. New England is going to be miserable. I've said it before, minus two, minus one, minus one. I have no faith. Their defense slipping without Belichick, I think. We'll see. But um, I have them having um, possibly the worst team in the league. The Colts, I don't trust the quarterback situation. Uh, their backs are fantastic. Receivers are average. And their defense is a bit of a mixed bag. Really good up front. Not so good on the back end. Jacksonville, solid across the board on offense and solid defense. This is a team that's going to win uh, more than it loses, should. Baltimore, uh, again, one of the better backs in, uh, quarterbacks in football. Uh, uh, they bring in uh, Henry. But the receivers are average to me. They don't. None of those receivers jump out at me. Uh, minus one, minus two, minus one on defense. Fantastic and solid on special teams. Tennessee. Uh, this is another team that's got to prove some things. I've got them at average at special, at backs and receivers, and I've got them below average at quarterback, and I've got them below average across the board on defense. Um, this team's got to prove something to me. Carolina again. This quarterback situation I think is really bad. And their running back situation is not great. Average receivers. I've got their defense up front uh, a little better than average. Back end, not so good. Buffalo, uh, Josh Allen. We all know what Josh Allen is, and, but his completion percentage and his interception ratio is is the worst in football generally. Or he, he tends to be uh, a higher interception. So this plus one is actually too high. I think it should probably be a minus one for completions and interceptions, but if I did that, people would go, what the hell, it's George Allen. You know, people have their love affairs with these uh, athletes, but statistically they don't prove out when it comes to completion percentage and interceptions, but, uh, you know, again, to give Allen a, a minus would, would just blow people's minds, so I'm not going to do it. If I had the stats in front of me, I might, <laughs> but we don't have stats. Uh, I don't trust that they're going to run the ball uh, it's enough to get breakaways. And their receiving core is hurting as they've lost almost everybody. they got to prove a lot as well. Another team has got to prove something. Defense, solid, but not great. Back end of the defense is their weak spot. Cleveland, um, again, the quarterback situation is bad. Running back's great. Receiver's average. Their defensive line is solid. Linebacker's average. And DB's solid. This is going to be a good defensive team. Cincinnati. What can I say? They feature, in my opinion, the best quarterback in football, best pure passing quarterback in football. If they can keep him on his feet and they can keep him healthy, he's a beast. Uh, they've lost their best back. I don't know what they're going to do running, so I've got them at a minus two. 
but a plus two receiving core. This is a plus five to completion percentage here and a solid defense. Uh, back end is average. Pittsburgh, again, the quarterback situation, I think, despite Carolina and uh, New England, this is probably the worst quarterback situation in football. Plus two backs, uh, average receivers, and a solid defense, starting with that front, uh, that front three and uh, back half uh, of the seven. And then DBs are solid. Houston, uh, in my opinion, the best young quarterback probably in I've seen in my lifetime. Uh, uh, outside of Dan Marino, um, this guy's a, a stud. We'll see if he can keep it up. The back situation, I don't think they're, it's going to be bad, but it's not going to have anything special. And the receiving core um, is, 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 is going to support Stroud. Uh, defense, solid. Front seven, uh, back end's average, right? The Raiders, a, a quarterback situation, not much better than other teams. Um, you know, I'm not certain what Minshew will do, but I'm not I'm not impressed with the, with the situation the Vegas Raiders are in. Uh, minus one for backs, as uh, we have yet we really have unknowns at back. We don't have Josh Jacobs anymore, so I've got a I've got a Raider offense that's going to struggle uh, quite a bit. But they do have fantastic tight ends, fantastic receivers, so that's a plus two. Kind of cancels out Vegas's quarterbacks. The defense, well, Max Crosby in the front, seven, solid. The linebacking is uh, a little less than average. The back end is average. So Vegas is going to probably struggle this year. Denver, again, rookie quarterback. I'm going to give him a zero for now. The running back situation, they're solid. They're average. Um, until one of these young backs shows me their breakaway threats, they're going to get a zero. And minus one for the receiving core. They really have unknowns. They have Cortland Sutton. That's it. Everybody else is an old veteran or a young unknown. So this could all change in real life. But right now we got to go in with what we actually know on paper about these guys. Uh, their defense, their front uh, was weak last year. Their linebackers are pedestrian at best. And their DBs are, are bolstered by a megastar cornerback. This is, in my opinion, Denver's not a great defense um, and not a great offense but with all of this is subject to I'm, I'm you know prove me wrong prove me wrong Seattle plus one at quarterback minus one at back and plus one at receiver an average defense across the board at Seattle again we're gonna find out what they're about Los Angeles Rams excuse me Los Angeles Chargers uh, plus one at quarterback minus one at back because we just don't know and minus one at receiver because Again, uh, lost both of their best receivers. Um, this is another team. There's so many teams kind of in in flux. It's going to be fascinating to see how Denver shakes out, how, how the Chargers shake out, you know, how Tennessee shakes out. There's a lot of these teams that, you know, it just only time will tell. Um, defense, uh, again, this, was a, this is a team that's been a poor defense for a, a decade. Uh, I've got them at zero up front, thanks to Bosa. I've got them plus two in the back uh, backer, and I've got them uh, uh, below average at the back end as well. And then last but not least, two-time defending champs uh, looking to be a three-peat for the first time in NFL history. Uh, Mahomes, best passer in football, best quarterback uh, probably in football. Uh, zero at back, again, um, they run. They run well enough to keep you honest, but they aren't necessarily going to score You know, 21 rushing touchdowns. They're not going to have a 2,000 yards rushing so I've got them at zero. Their receiving core, to be honest with you, I think is poor, but it's bolstered by an aging and old Kelsey. I'm going to give them a plus one, but uh, I was tempted to make this a zero. But again, i got to account for that legend Kelsey for now. Uh, it, this is the thing about football. Guys, age creeps up on you very quickly in football. You, you know, uh, name recognition, oh, it's Mark Kelsey, oh, he's a stud. And then suddenly he's old and he's not having a good year, right? And so this could be a zero or a minus by the end of the season. Uh, defense is freaking fantastic. Front seven is our studs. Back half is strong. What can I say? They are a two-time champion. And there you have it, folks. For those who want to play uh, 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 the 2024 projection season with big country football, will now be able to grab this. Again, it is free and it is available in my Google Drive. Thank you for watching. Good day.